Hey everyone, Hamada here with another video for Revit 101. Before I start, I would like to apologize for not uploading for the past few days. As you guys know, my plan was to live stream each session every day, but it turns out I won't be able to do that with the current setup that I have available at the moment. And as many of you have actually suggested, I will be recording and uploading these sessions here. Another thing is, I will be breaking each session into many videos with different titles, as I have tried shooting one session and it turns out to be more than an hour long. And that should help make it a little bit more easier for you guys to access a specific part and rewatch back in the future. Just make sure to watch all the videos in the right order as I've mentioned in the previous video and everything should be fine. Alright, that's all for the update. Let's go ahead and start with the session. As you can see here, I have Revit 2020. And if you haven't yet downloaded Revit, go ahead and see the instructions that I've put in the previous video. So as you can see here, Revit has two different types of files. One is models and the other one is families. And models are projects, families are components. So basically, the simplest way I could actually explain this is that Projects contain families, so all the components such as like uh, a table for example as you can see here or any component really, you can think of it like libraries in CAT software, however this is much more neater and much more organized. And don't worry if you don't get it yet at this stage, once we go through more sessions you will eventually get to understand the difference between them. Alright, for now I want to show you how we create a new project. So for that we're gonna go ahead and click on create new, right over here, and then and then this dialog is going to show up. So what is it actually asking me right now? It's asking me to choose a template file. And this is a very common way of dealing with Revit is there everything has a template file and creating a new project is no different. So right over here we have few templates which is construction template, architecture template and all that. So I'm not going to actually be using any one of these. I am going to browse for another template that all of you should already have once you install Revit. I'm going to use the default template and I'm going to use the metric version. So if you go back here, we can find US metric and we can choose uh, default metric. So if you don't have this file, I will actually be uploading it. So you can find the link for that in the description. So once we have that in place, I'm going to make sure that I am creating a new project and not a project template. Basically, if you want to create a template that will be used here, this would usually be done by your BIM manager at your firm. You can go ahead and choose that. But for now, I'm just going to be creating a new project. So let's click OK. So now that we are inside of a new project, I'm going to go ahead and show you the four elements that I want to show in this video. So the first one is properties. Properties is very, very important in order for you to work with parametric and BIM elements. So I'm going to be talking in depth about this in the next video. The next one is your project browser. Project browser, this is where you can go ahead and navigate your project. So for example, currently I am in level one and I know this because it's in bolded and you can see it says level one right over here. I could go and find any other views from right over here by just simply double clicking on it. So for example, let's go ahead and try to access the east elevation. So I'll double click on east and you can see it opens another tab for me and that says east. And that brings me actually to this part of Revit. This is what we call a viewfinder. So right over here you have something very similar to web browser. This is the new Revit, this is how it is. So you can see I can go between these different uh, tabs and uh, it will basically show whatever it is I want. So it's, it's not just 2D elements, it could also be 3D, which I'll show you how to get to in a moment. So number four is actually our tabs. So right over here we have many, many different tabs which we access different tools inside of Revit. For example, currently I'm in the architecture tab and in the next class I'm actually going to be showing you this build section of the architecture tab. As you can see, we have other things, all these structure elements, MEP, all related elements, and uh, even some Revit related elements and all that. We're going to go through all of these throughout this course. And also massing, as you saw in the course outline, which I know a lot of you guys want to see and play with all these different parabolic shapes and all these curves, structures, and all that. We will get to that. Just be patient, as I mentioned, and let's go through the basics first. Another thing I want to show in this video is how to navigate in the viewfinder. So as you can see, currently we don't have any 3D view and the reason for that is that in this template we haven't yet created any 3D view. And in order for you to do that, the easiest way would be to go up here and click on this icon that says default 3D view. Once you click on it, it's going to open for us a 3D view and at the same time you can see here it actually created a 3D view. Alright? so. 
In order for you to pan around the 3D view, you can actually use the mouse wheel button. And that is actually not just 3D view. All the other views I was panning around just by clicking on this uh, mouse wheel button. Uh, another thing is actually orbiting. Orbiting is simply clicking the mouse wheel button along with shift and then you can orbit around. And then last but not least is actually uh, zoom in and out. That is also by the mouse wheel. So it's eventually it's just the mouse wheel button uh, along with shift and just mouse wheel alone. <laughs> All right, that's about it for now. I'll see you in the next video where I talk about how to work in the build section. All right, thank you guys for watching. I just finished editing the video and it's five minutes and 30 seconds. My goal is eventually to make these videos as short as possible. However, I'm still tweaking the format. So if you guys have any recommendations, just uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again in the next video.